Now this is a problem related to Newton's law and this covers the concept of related acceleration. So whenever you have a problem related to Newton's law what do you do? We write equations and then we solve for unknown. So this is the general procedure. So that is we solve for unknown. But sometime let us say I have an equation, I have a Newton's law situation that gives only four equation and we have five unknown. Now in these cases how to solve these equations? So we look for some another equation or some other relation and that relation basically comes from relation between acceleration. So another equation, other equation can be derived can be derived from relation between acceleration now let us do this problem so we will use in doing this problem that is principle of superposition. So let us first treat this problem. So it says a particle of mass A that is 6 kg is connected by a light inextensible string passing over a fixed smooth pulley to a light smooth movable pulley B. So we have a mass A that is 6 kg. This is attached to a pulley B. Now next two particles C and D masses 2 kg and 1 kg are connected by a light inextensible a string passes over the pulley B. So we have C 1 kg and D 2 kg and this system again passes over this pulley B. When the system is moving freely find the acceleration of 1 kg mass and the tension in the string. So when this system is moving freely we have to find acceleration of 1 kg mass. We have to also find what is the tension in the string. So tension in the string. So now to do this problem we will use method of superposition. So let us see how we can find relationship between acceleration that we will use by superposition. So let us first see how to find superposition principle helps us to write relationship between acceleration. Let us say this A is going up with the acceleration of A1. So if A is going up with acceleration A1 this means this B that is whole pulley is coming down with acceleration A1. Now let us make C and D fix that is C and D is fixed with pulley. So there is some something that is attached or this rope is basically tied with this pulley. This means this rope is not moving over this pulley. This rope is not slipping over this pulley. So this is fixed. So rope, this rope, this part of rope is basically fixed. So what happens? If A is going up with acceleration A1, B will also going down with acceleration A1. And now C and D is attached to B. So this is also going down with acceleration of A1. And this C is also going down with acceleration of A1. So this case I can say is we have basically fixed C and D. Fixed C and D over the pulley B. Now second case what we will do? Now let us say fix A and B. This means now this rope is fixed at this. Now this is not moving. Only this is moving. So let us say this is going up with acceleration A2. So this will coming down with acceleration of A2. So this is coming down with acceleration of A2. Now this part is fixed. That is A and B is fixed. So this means this part of the rope is glued over this pulley. So only this is going up and this is coming down. So when we have what we have done in the second situation fixed 
A and B B over the pulley over the pulley and let us say this pulley is a P so this pulley has a name of P so over the pulley P now things are easy if I move so let us say open the glue over here and open the glue over here what will happen this means now both pulleys are free to move so neither AB is fixed nor CD is fixed so now apply superposition that is all pulley are free to move so what we will acceleration we will have so this will have acceleration a1 but this will have in the downward direction acceleration a1 and upward direction acceleration a2 so it will have a resultant acceleration of a2 minus a1 in the upward direction now this will have a downward direction resultant that is a1 plus a2 now equations are easy to write here we have 2 into z that is free body diagram we can make so this is mass here I can have a 1 into z that is acting force in the downward direction here I will have 6 into z that is force acting in the downward direction let us say this string has a tension of t1 this string has a tension of t2 and this string also has a tension of t2 now we can write equations so let us write equation for mass a so if I write equations for mass a this is going up so t1 minus 6 z so this is t1 minus 6 z is equals to mass into acceleration similarly we can write another equation for mass b so for mass b we can write uh, let us say mass b is a pulley so here we will have tension is t1 so here I will have tension t1 and here I will have tension t2 and here I have tension t2 because this rope since there are two strings this string and this string is different string so they will have different tension now this mass has this pulley has a zero mass so this means the upward force is equals to downward force because force is equals to mass into acceleration mass is zero so force has to be zero this means upward force is equals to downward force that is t1 is equals to t2 t2 so we will have t1 is equals to 2t2 so this is my equation number 2 similarly we can write equation so this is a constraint equation I am looking that is basically we have related a1 and a2 here I have a1 so this is mass a is going with acceleration a1 so I have to write a1 now let us for C this is going up with acceleration resultant acceleration a2 minus a1 so t2 minus z so we can write t2 minus z mass is 1 and the acceleration is a2 minus a1 so this is equation 3 now we can write equation for d and this will be this is coming down that is 2z minus t2 so we will have 2z minus t2 and mass is 2 and acceleration is a1 plus a2 so you see we have four equation here and how many unknown we have so we have unknown t1 t2 and a1 a2 so we have four equations four unknown we can solve this equation let us see uh, how can we solve so let us first use this equation we can write if I plug t2 in first equation so first equation can be written as t1 is 2t2 minus 6z is equals to 6a1 now equation number 3 I have that is this t2 minus z is equals to a2 minus a1 so this is equation 1 and equation 3 similarly I will have let us say I can use 3 and 4 again so if I write 3 and 4 t2 minus z is equals to a2 minus a1 and equation number 4 is that is 2z minus t2 is equals to 2a1 plus 2a2 now let us see this equation so this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 if I add this to equation t2 goes so 2z minus z so z is equals to I will have here 3a2 
and this is plus a1. Now here I will have that is if I multiply by 2, 2 and subtract these two equations so this is minus this is plus this is minus this is plus so 2t2 two goes and this is 2z minus 6z so this is minus 4z this is equals to 6a1 plus 2a1 8a1 minus 2a2 or we can write this is minus 2z is equals to 4a1 minus a2 so this equation we can solve for from this and this z is equals to 3a2 plus a1 now let us say if I multiply this equation by 4 or we can solve this one so if this is a2 or if we can multiply this equation by 3 so let us say if I multiply equation by 3 what we will have minus 6z is equals to 12 a1 minus 3 a2 now if I add these two so I will have 13 a1 is equals to minus 5 z so a1 is basically minus 5 by 13 into z similarly we can solve for a2 from here so we have z is equals to 3 a2 plus a1 and even we have calculated minus 5 by 13 z now from here we can write this goes this side so z plus 5 by 13 z is equals to 3 a 2 so we will have 18 z by 13 is equals to 3 a 2 so this means a 2 is equals to 6 z by 13 so now we know a 2 and this is equals to 6 z by 13 so this is a 1 and a 2 so what is the mass a mass of 1 kg has acceleration 1 kg mass has acceleration resultant acceleration is a 2 minus a 1 and we have to find what is the acceleration of 1 kg mass so acceleration of 1 kg is a 2 minus a 1 so we can find acceleration of 1 kg mass that is a 2 minus a 1 so a 2 is this 6 z minus 13 and this is minus uh, this is basically a 2 minus a 1 minus minus plus 5 z by 13 so this is 11 z by 13 so mass of 1 kg will have acceleration of 11 z by 13 so 1 kg mass is going up with a acceleration of so I can say 1 kg mass is going up with an acceleration of 11 z by 13 now once I know a1 and a2 we can calculate tension so we have a relationship for tension that is 2 t2 minus 6 z so we have 2 t2 minus 6 z and this is equals to 6 a1 so a1 is basically I have here minus 5 by z by 13 so this is minus 5 z by 13 this is equals to 2 t2 minus 6 z so I can write t2 minus 3 z if I cancel by 2 so I will have minus 15 z by 13 now this 3 z goes this side so t2 is equals to 3 z minus 15 z by 13 so we will have t2 is equals to 39 minus 15 z by 13 so this is 24 z by 13 so this is the tension in a string that is passing down so this is a string that connects c and d so this is the tension that a string connects c and d similarly we can find t1 and t1 is nothing but this is equals to 
2 t2 we have already written so we have equation here so if you see that is t1 is equals to 2 t2 so t1 is basically 2 times 24 z by 13 that is 48 z divided by 13 so now we know tension t1 we know tension t2 that is the tension in the rope 1 and tension in the rope 2 we also know the resultant acceleration of 1 kg mass and this we have to find so let us finish here